Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here on this channel. I do tarot card readings for all zodiac signs, and in this video, we're looking at messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, welcome in Libra. If this message resonates with you, be sure to like this video, share it with those that you love. And hit the subscribe button to be notified whenever I post up new content for you, Libra. If you're interested in a personal reading to get more clarification in any aspect of your life, love, money, relationship, check out the description box for details on intimate readings just for you. All right, let us get started. So Libra, I feel like, okay, one more thing is that this is general tarot readings and so all the messages may not re um, relate to you so take what applies and the rest of it let it fly Libra all right so let's get started we have five of swords here on both of the decks so I do feel like some of you are going through major changes right now transformation in the boundaries that you're setting for yourself moving out clearing out energies uh, maybe starting something new, a new page, a new chapter when it comes to work freedom. Some of you are going out to work physically, uh, moving out of home Libra. All right. We, we see the Eight of Swords coming up again. Maybe some of you feel trapped in a connection that's with a twin flame soulmate energy. Maybe you want this connection to be over. Maybe that's the person you're leaving behind. And so now we're going to take a look at what's what you're leaving behind what you're currently feeling libra and what's coming up for you in the future page of pentacles some of you may be studying going to work going to school starting something new releasing burdens releasing old ties and affiliations we had two pages some of you could be receiving money receiving messages good messages bad messages but I feel the good messages will be standing out more to you because that's what you want to release burdens. So the message that you're receiving could be of uh, you're losing some connections here from maybe people, situations, jobs. All right. So that's what's coming up for you. And let's take a closer look, Libra. So let's look at your past energy. Let's get ready. Remember, Libra, that you are very much involved in this reading. So focus your intentions on what it is that you wish to see, what you want out of this reading. The answers, clarifications for the collective. You can get individual messages just by focusing and breathing. So let's take a breath now. And now we're going to look at a past energy for you. Moving away, air sign. I'm sorry, moving away, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, moving away from you, moving toward you. This is someone that's migrating, relocating, traveling the distance, coming into you passionately, desirously. Or this is someone moving away to follow their hearts, their passions, their desires here. The Knight of Wands. And moving into something great too. Um, about to be on a journey of transformation, healing, rejuvenation. It's as if the fire is burning. It's on its way. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy. So maybe something left. A connection. In your current energy, we have the six of pentacles, which means you're feeling good about yourself right now. Some of you are working, being of service, giving and receiving so there's balance here in your life when it comes to your financial stability and also Libra when it comes to how you feel about yourself so I feel like you're feeling good changes are being made when it comes to your integrity your soul, your sense of self-worth your dignity your pride your self-esteem your boundaries your standards um, the way in which you choose to believe in yourself you're choosing to share your gifts right now let's look a bit closer at this past energy someone that you blocked it could be someone you blocked wanting to come back around to you libra wanting to come and burn down some walls as if they're really trying to penetrate you really trying to think of what it is that you're really up to this could be water sign but you are blocking this connection this person wants to come to you with 
as if they they're really heated right now maybe it could be sexual energy this person wanting to come in and mm. but you're in king you're in king of swords mode you're blocking you're being defined you're standing up for what you're believing you're standing firm holding your ground all right but this person was like oh la la they're they like attracted to you they're on fire like this person is literally on fire on fire because you're sitting here looking like the high priestess looking good so this is how you look to them you're looking good you're standing in yourself looking powerful you're being fruitful creative possibly they're seeing a side of you that they've never seen before as something that is more internal than external like they, they may be seeing your soul and this is causing them to have this new fire a new desire a new attraction attraction for you but you are literally in king of swords energy libra where you're in defense, you're not taking crap right now. You're like, make sure you're coming good. But they're coming in steaming hot like they might burn you. Like porridge. So the energy that you're currently in is the... I feel like you're on your journey to becoming. It's as if someone that starts, uh, starts to do things in order to discover their true purpose here. So you start to do some work. You're putting yourself out there so that you can really uncover the, uh, more of who you are. That's the energy that I'm getting with the six. Oh, look at this. Really discovering. I feel like you're diving in your inner world and pairing it with the high priestess energy over here. I feel like you're becoming super intuitive. You're tapping into your emotions. Wow. Libra, some of you could be connected to water energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're seeking advice. Some of you may be wanting to travel externally. Relo not relocate, but travel. Yeah, be out in the world. I feel like you're definitely now outgoing, out in the world, being of service here. And this is also you diving into your internal world here. And that's how you're feeling. I love this energy for you. It's beautiful. Let us leave the cards up. Let's leave them up, Libra. Beautiful energy for you. And let's look at your outcome. The Two of Swords. For me, this is trusting in your intuition. And for me, your intuition is like that gut feeling, that knowing. And that knowing comes with you being grounded and stable. Knowing what's good for you, what's right, what's wrong, who to let into your life, who not to let into your life. So you're being stable and grounded setting your boundaries and really trusting in your intuition some of you are rejecting a connection refusing a connection disconnecting not connecting with a person possibly a water sign cancer pisces definitely look at this you're not you're not receiving from this person cancer pisces or scorpio this person is offering their love to you and they're not receiving maybe they did this to you in the past maybe in the past this person ghosted you and now you're standing up very powerfully and strong Maybe going out, being independent, being graceful and beautiful, or holding your own, seeking in your own self, your own independence within yourself. And this person is not attracted to you, maybe wanting to come back. Oh my God, your own independence within yourself, the Queen of Pentacles energy. So you're standing strong, not really accepting offers from others but really focusing on yourself how you feel you're focusing more on how you feel instead of wanting to give into a connection because you're feeling a bit sorry for someone so you're, you're not you're not like all right let me hear what you have to say because i'm sorry I'm, I'm i'm taking pity on you libra you're more like nope you're not getting in my emotional field right now i'm focusing on my money focusing on growing myself myself as an individual my business and that's it. And that's the energy I'm getting for you for the next seven days, Libra. I love this reading for you. Honestly, it's beautiful. It's hopeful. It's transformative. As I say, that's in the beginning, I was saying you're, you're cutting out some connections that were not serving you. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to remind you again to like this video, share it, and please subscribe, especially if the messages resonate with you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, Libra, that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. Much love. Namaste.